I'm about to review my girlfriend's Fortnite locker. And when she joined my party, I realized she was an OG. So let's get right into this video and see what she has. And apparently she already has over 150 skins. We're about to find out, is her account better than mine? We're going right into the skins and I'm already seeing so many, including all the Dark Bundle and a Polar Peely. She has some nice exclusives and no way she has the Psycho Bandit. This came out in Season X and it's so rare. She even has the off-brand Renegade Raider, the Blaze skin, and I'm seeing a lot of superhero skins, including the Marvel series and a lot more. She also has a lot of Star Wars skins, which is pretty sick. I didn't even know she liked that. And no way, guys. She has the Black Knight from Season 2. This is insane. My girlfriend is literally an OG. She doesn't have Max Omega or Carbide, but she has the Dark Voyager from Season 3 and the Drift from Season 5. This is Havoc in this release back in Season 3. I can't believe she has so many skins. And I'm giving away 1,000 V-Bucks, so make sure you guys watch until the end. Leave a like and comment why you should win. But I can't believe that she got the Rose Team leader from save the world this goes for over 300 dollars and she even has the reaper from tier 100 in season three i'm so confused but so amazed at the same time she's got war paint and the blue striker bundle for ps4 my girlfriend has a lead agent from season three and of course that means she is going to have the season three astronauts I hope you guys are enjoying this because I sure am. And if you have any of these skins, let me know in the comments below. I see that she has the Rogue Agent from Season 3 and even the Rust Lord, which is the casual noob skin of Season 3. But let's be honest here, she's still a noob. And of course, I see her favorite skin, the Sparkle Specialist from Season 2. And as we move on, I see a Trailblazer from the Season 4 Twitch Pack and Wingman, which if you have, that's actually getting quite rare. She has the first PSM Plus pack, the blue team leader, and of course the season two knights. And it's funny because she has so many PSN exclusives like Prodigy, Solterra, and even the Trilogy skin, but she plays on Xbox. But let's move on to Backblings and see what she has. We are on to Backblings and this is looking pretty cool. Of course she has so many and I'm already seeing the dark ones and of course the Psycho Bandit Backbling. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it looks sick. She has Deadpool's Katanas and a lot more Marvel Backblings. This Backbling came out in Season 3 and it's not coming back. And of course she has the Black Knight Shield, which is just iconic. The Dark Matter backbling is also pretty sick and of course she's gonna have all the astronaut backblings. I bet you the Rust Bucket is literally her favorite backbling. We're gonna go ahead and finish up backblings and we're gonna move right to the pickaxes. And I hope she has something insane. And no way guys, she has the Leviathan pickaxe. This hasn't been seen in over 800 days. She even has the Psycho Bandit axes. Well, let's go ahead and see what else she has. We have ACDC from Season 2 and the Controller Pickaxe from Season 5. Of course, she has the Season 3 Eva Pickaxe, but I still can't believe she has the Leviathan Pickaxe. And she has over 100 plus pickaxes, so we're going to go ahead and move right on to my favorite part, the Gliders. And let's be honest, this combo is looking so sick. We are at the gliders and I'm so excited. She has the Astro World Glider, which is not coming back ever. But I really wish she had Travis Scott too. This is Get Down, one of the best gliders from Season 2. And she has High Octane right next to that, which is from Season 3. This matches so well with John Wick. And as we move down, I see some nice exclusive gliders. And no way, she has the Mako Glider from Season 1. This is the rarest glider in the game and it's never coming back. And as we move down, I see the Save the World Gliders, which are very expensive and rare. She must have been good back in Season 2 because she won a game and got the Snowflake Glider. And she actually has a lot of Victory Royale umbrellas. This locker has some of the rarest and most exclusive cosmetics. Now let's go right on to the emotes. She has a load of Icon Series dances and even some Marvel ones. With over 400 emotes, she has a pretty stacked emote locker and this is looking sick. She has freestyling from the Twitch pack, and this is literally my favorite. And no way, guys, right next to that, she has Fresh from Season 1. And again, this is never coming back. The robot came out in Season 3, and it's one of the most iconic and OG emotes. Flippin' Sexy is very OG, and it used to be pay to win. But that's not all because she has the Season 2 floss. And of course, Orange Justice, another iconic and loved emote. We're not going to leave out Ride the Pony from Season 2, and of course, The Worm from Season 2. Take the L is so toxic, and I don't know why she has this. And I even realized that she had the Battle Bus banner from Season 1, which is one of the rarest banners ever. I had to favorite all of her rare skins because she didn't even know how. And I can't believe that she has this many. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so be sure to like and subscribe. I just started, and the support is crazy. I love you all, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.